you see I'm filming a get ready with me video. I am doing it in this lovely outdoors weather. So if you hear cars going by, wind going by, sun moving, heater going on, yep, that's all the lovely perks of being outdoors. But um, I filmed with all some new products I got and I'm so excited to just try them out in one big old video for you guys and give you guys my opinion on them. I love all of them basically or else I wouldn't be using them in a video. So I hope you guys like this peachy spring makeup look and I will see you all in the video. So before I do my makeup, I like to use my MAC Mineralized Charge Water Moisture Gel because I just like to moisturize before putting it on my makeup because lately my skin has been dry. Oh. I have been loving the MAC Prep and Prime BB Cream mixed with the MAC Strobe Liquid Lotion. Don't ask me why this hasn't been in my life before or because I don't even know. Um, the lady at the MAC counter, who is like the most amazing MAC counter lady ever, she recommended this to me because she knows I'm obsessed with glowy foundations and she was like, okay Courtney, I don't know how you haven't tried this product yet because you are obsessed with glow. And I was like, I know. And she's like, so you can control your glow with this because I can put it where I want the glow because I like to be matte in my T-zone because that's where I'm combination skin. So then I can put the strobe liquid on my cheeks. The other thing is that obviously the MAC Prep and Prime. I never thought I'd be a BB cream person because I'm just like, BB cream is stupid. They do absolutely nothing to your skin. They're literally moisturizer with no color and they just pretend that they do. Until I tried this MAC one and I never thought I would like MAC BB cream of any types of BB creams. But this is actually a super, it's not super thick like cake dot, but like it's a thick moussey BB cream. So it's not like a moisturizer that does nothing to your skin. It actually has coverage and it actually looks like foundation coverage. It's just incredible and I wanted something like this for spring that felt super light on my skin, that was going to stay a long time, and that's good for my skin in the spring, that's still light. This is it. So what I like to do, since I have combo skin, I use a mattifying primer just in my T-zone. And this is what the lady at the matte counter recommended me to do. I'm sorry if I'm looking down. I'm trying to open my mirror. There we go. She recommended me to do this because she's like, since you have combo skin and you want to use strobe liquid, just put the mattifying primer in the areas that you want to be matte. So for me, that's my <coughs> nose above my lip and my chin. And then what I do is I put some of the strobe liquid on my cheeks, forehead, and yeah, those are the areas I want to be dewy. So I put them there. And then to make it extra super duper glowy, I mix the strobe liquid and the BB cream combination and the BB cream together. So it's like I have the strobe liquid on and then the strobe liquid mixed with this makes it the ultimate glow, but not like the greasy glow. So I'm going to do that and then you guys will see how it looks. is the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. This is another new product, just like my last face products were. I just got this at Ulta. I have it in the shade Fair, which is the second shade. It goes even lighter than this, and this is basically white, so I don't even know. But I got this because I have been wanting the MAC Prep and Prime highlighter, but they were sold out on my counter, and I just couldn't wait any longer for it. So I just decided to get this one for $5 to wait. And I'm actually thoroughly impressed. If it ends up being a dupe for that highlighter for underneath your eyes, I will let you guys know. Because this is five bucks and that other thing is 25 bucks. So, yeah. Next, I'm using a new MAC paint pot for me. This is the Let Me Pop paint pot. And I like it so much better than Ruminesque. It is a, like, PG Gold shade like that. But this has, like shimmers in it but you can't even see the shimmers but they look like chunky in your eye I don't even know how to describe it it's not gonna come up on camera because since I'm outside it's washing me out but hopefully you guys can tell or go swatch it in the store okay. next I'm going to line my eyes you guys know the drill I can never do this on camera so I'll be back when it is done. Okay, so I am pretty sure my eyeliner does not look exactly the same right now, but you know what? Life is difficult putting an eyeliner in that great outdoors. Okay, thank you. So I'm going to use this new sample of mascara that I have that I am just in freaking love with, so I'm obviously gonna have to buy this too. It's the MAC Zoom Fast Black Lash, and let me just say, the name is like the perfect name. Whoever named this, you go. There goes Heater again. Anyways, because it builds up like none other. Like I'll put on like just 
one swipe and I literally feel like my lashes are build up. Like I didn't even know that was possible, but it is. Oh, I didn't tell you guys what eyeliner I used, by the way. It's the Maybelline Lance Willow. What else would you expect? Next, I'm using what may be my favorite thing in this whole entire video, the Clinique Cheek Pops. I have two of these. You guys saw them in my last haul that just went up. This is the Peach Pop one because I thought I was gonna go with this look. I am determined to get the other two in the collection and I've raved about this packaging, so don't even get me started. And my favorite brush to use it with is the Real Technique Stipple Brush. These two are a match made in heaven. Holy godsend. One of my absolute new favorite products, the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. I have mine in the shade Chocolate, so if you have similar brows to mine, I recommend this color. My brows are very naturally dark, but I would not go for ebony because that is basically black and I don't want my eyebrows to be darker. So I was never one into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Never felt the need, never felt like spending $22 on a brow pencil. I don't even like brow pencils. Um, I always just use an eyeshadow. And then I was like, this? might be a godsend like this is like what the stars use on the eyebrows to get them fully defined and clean and it's basically like gel eyeliner for your eyebrows and i am just so excited about this look how pretty it looks right there and they just got that ugly little stuff that i put in there but whatever um let me just say this product if you aren't using it carefully it is very easy to mess up and get out of the lines of your eyebrows and you get this like wonky line so i definitely recommend only dipping your brush in once you think you need a lot but you don't once and then building up very slowly because it's so easy to go outside of the lines and then you mess up your brows completely. So if you're a beginner of brows, I wouldn't recommend this product, but if you have experience and you want to just kind of branch out and get your eyebrows nice and defined, this is it. Now basically, one of the only not new products in this video that I'm going to be using is the MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Thin Finish. It's the only highlighter I'll use, and I'm going for that glowy look, as you guys know, with that stroke cream. So I'm just going to use this on the tops of my cheekbones. I've been going MAC crazy recently. I don't even know what it is, but I've just been... Last but not least, I'm using my new lipstick, which was also featured in my latest video, the YSL Rouge Velup Shine in number 15, Coral Intuitive. So gorgeous, so shiny, love. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me video featuring my new product and I hope it gave you guys some new tips and ideas for stuff that you might want to buy and I hope you like this like peachy spring look. I'm definitely loving it and I will see you on my next video. Bye! Next is my new foundation routine that I got for spring that I am so obsessed with. It is the MAC Prep and Prime BB Cream Mixed... <laughs> really? The freaking heater had to go on. <laughs> Gina. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. I tried. I have heated, and there's people walking by. This is awkward. He is staring at me. Okay. <laughs> I thought this thing would be a lot easier, but it's not. Okay. I guess old men just don't understand YouTube. <coughs> Anyways. Come over. <laughs> My little sister helped me film this and she wanted to be in this clip, so enjoy. Thanks, Gina. Is somebody getting out of their car? We must wait. Next, I'm using what might be my favorite thing about the whole entire haul is these. The whole entire haul? Ooh. Next, I'm using my favorite. Next, I'm using what me. What me. I almost forgot to do one of my new favorite things, which is the un- I hate scratching my head when I talk. 